200 years ago, the human population had passed a tipping point. Even with the best of technology, our planet could not support all of us. Our relationship with Earth had come to a crossroads. Since then, the human race has come a long way. Artificial intelligence runs the world now, and humans enjoy it. People don't have to work anymore, unless they want to be an artist or a scientist. When the first AI took charge, it made laws to ensure the survival and well-being of the human race. Natural births were abolished. Now reproduction takes place through genetic replication, picking the best genes among us while maintaining an optimal level of diversity. Each fresh human receives an education until the age of 21, learning not only art, science, history, math and language, but also how to become an explorer. After completing their education, they are free to live their lives the way they wish. They can go anywhere, do anything, and enjoy all the pleasures that their mother planet has to offer. When they turn 25 years old, they could either choose to die peacefully, without any pain, or they could sign up to be put into cryogenic sleep chambers and shot into space in random directions. If their pod detects and lands on a habitable world in the future, they send back a beacon, and then more humans could be sent there to populate the new world. This is seen as an acceptable way to propagate humans as an intergalactic species, while successfully sustaining the mother planet. Whenever a new habitable world is discovered, the human race gains valuable resources and some of the population can then live in that world. At this point, the mean age to enter cryo is readjusted and everyone on Earth can live a little longer. But space is big. The majority of the pods do not land anywhere. They drift endlessly in space, lost. Sleeping people wandering across the cosmos. Every now and then, they get deflected by the gravitational pull of spatial bodies and end up changing paths. In the rare occasion that the pods meet in passing, they acknowledge each other like two strangers 
making accidental eye contact. They share all their knowledge with each other. Art, science, math, history and language. But sometimes, like in life, something special happens in this chance encounter. It has never been confirmed, but as the pods share their knowledge, the human travelers in their hypersleep are said to share each other's dreams. <laughs>